Hi, I'm Rick Brown. First, I want to thank you for taking the time to read about my Century of Restaurants book and also for watching this video presentation. But since pictures are indeed better than words, I'll let some of my images tell the story of what I'm trying to do with this book. But again, thank you for your support, for your time, and for your interest in A Century of Restaurants. While working on this book, we've discovered that America is slowly losing its culinary identity as fast food outlets are slowly pushing some of our most historic restaurants out of business. We're discarding our culinary heritage in favor of popcorn shrimp, volcanic tacos, and preformed and rewarmed hamburgers. In the Century of Restaurants book and the TV series that will follow next year, we're trying to do our part to help preserve these historic places, many that have stayed alive through five to six generations of family ownership. Restaurants were preparing and serving wholesome, fresh food is practiced with grace, style, and most importantly, a very personal touch. A Century of Restaurants is a book that will celebrate and honor 100 of America's most historic restaurants, many of them family-owned, who have been serving up great meals and warm hospitality for over 100 years. In fact, some are 200 years old and a few are over 300 years old. We are celebrating restaurants that have literally helped build America and have entertained, fed, and employed millions of people over the years. I've already driven more than 8,000 miles on my American culinary history tour, and before I'm through we'll have traveled over 20,000 miles through 46 states, from border to border and coast to coast. With gas costing more than $3 in some places, and the high cost of staying in even cheap motels, this is a very expensive project. We'll thank you for that support by taking you with us as we visit the favorite restaurants of Buffalo Bill, Dolly Madison, Ben Franklin, Paul Revere, Clarence Darrow, and Jack London. We will be offering up some fun thank you rewards for those who support this book. But please know that small donations are as important to us as large ones. We'd love to have a whole bunch of folks help us complete our travels across the country. And if you're one of our most generous donors, I will invite you to come with me on one of my restaurant visits when I get to your area. We really appreciate your generous support, but want you to be sure to set aside a knife, a fork, a spoon, and a napkin, because we're on the way to visit some of America's best, most unique, and most historic dining rooms and we've reserved a special table just for you.